This is Steve from Boxing UK. Delighted to be joined by Ryland Charlton. First oh, yeah. things first, Ryland, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, a uh, bit busy, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. Cheers. Good man. F fully recovered from the fight? Yeah, fully recovered, yeah. Um, had some black eyes and stuff. Um, yeah, it looked a bit of a mess the next day, but I suppose it comes with a job, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does, mate. Ryland, can I ask you a question that you might not have been asked? We spoke to you um, after the fight and you said you were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. What's the process from that fight ending to you ending up in hospital? What actually so, happens? So uh, I think I, with the boxing side of things, I think I get a ban for 28 days, so I got stopped. Um, but yeah, I was in hospital, I went straight to hospital, uh, get a check over. Um, I did, I think there was some couple of fractures in my eye socket and a little fracture on my cheek. Um, and yes, yeah, perforated ears. Um, and yeah, then they done a little check over, then we were discharged and, and sort of, yeah, I was there pretty much all night. It took ages to get around to us. Um, so yeah, and then it was me and me and Josh Kelly actually we were in hospital beds opposite each other, um, which was which was a laugh, really. I'm glad I wasn't there on my own, <laughs> but um, yeah, then they sent us home probably about four in the morning, something like that. And yeah, that was that. And then I've had a few checkups at the hospital in Norwich, where I'm from. And then, um, yeah, all good, really. It's good to hear, mate. Um, the fight itself, I would assume you're gutted. Are you more gutted that you lost to Marco, or are you more gutted that you've lost the zero? Um, I'm more gutted that I lost to Marco than I am. The zero doesn't really bother me because at least I'm getting out and I'm boxing, actually boxing people and, and not just these journeyman guys that are in there to lose kind of thing. So it's more the fact that I lost to Marku than anything. Um, the next question I was going to ask was about your bravery, but when you're saying that you lost to Marku, it was a more upsetting thing. You're quite a cool character, but yeah. in the ring he was trying to goad you and he was giving you the verbals. Did you hear any of it? And at any point, did it wind you up? Um, yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think it wound me up. So I was still just focused on doing what I was doing. But it, it maybe it wound me up a little bit. But I didn't. I just tried not to let it really get to me. He was just doing a lot of talking. And as much as when I did put him down, I wanted to stick the boot in and all that. But obviously, you can't be doing that. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it was it was a bit frustrating, but that's that's how the guy that's how the guy does it. That's his character, I suppose. But yeah, a bit frustrating. You were as brave as a lion. Were you more hurt or more exhausted, Rylan? Um, I wasn't really hurt. I think I, c I couldn't really see, to be honest. I was kind of fighting for looking for a letterbox because my eyes were pretty shut up. Um, I think I was probably. I was probably a bit exhausted and I was beaten up. Um, I took a lot of punishment and, I, and I, I will just continue going. Unless you knock me out and I'm not getting up, I will continue going. Um, so, yeah, I'd say I was kind of, I was, I was relieved my corner and threw the towel in. I think it was the right thing to do. Um, I'd been beaten up. I'd been outpointed. My power was weakening as the fight was going on. I mean, I managed to get him down in the sixth, but I feel like... I had nothing really left in me. I would have just continued to have lost the round. So, yeah, it was one of them things. But um, Marku did, I can't take anything away from him. He did box very well. He's boxed the best that he's ever boxed. He's never boxed like that before. And I was thinking, I mean, he pulled that out of the bag. I'm thinking, brilliant. I, I mean, watched all of his fights and he hadn't done anything like that before. And then, yeah, he pulls that out of the bag. So, credit to him. He done well. That's in a way a kind of backhanded compliment to you, though, Ryland, isn't it? That he felt the need to change. Yeah, yeah, I suppose he he had to he had to change something because he couldn't have continued boxing the way that he did because I would have beaten him if he had boxed the way he did. Um, and I suppose I could have maybe had more of a game plan going into it. We had we had kind of one one game plan that was doing what I do, which sometimes when I'm when I'd lost most of the rounds doing that. And Marku wasn't tiring, which I found he was obviously super duper fit. Because normally people that I hunt down that way for at least get to about five or fifth or sixth round and they'd be blown out their ass. But Marku was 
like every round was like his first round. He was very fresh. So, he, yeah, he was super fit. I know you said you wanted to stick the boot in. But is, there, <laughs> yeah. is there anything else you can tell us about the knockdown? Did you think you had him? Um, I thought I knew I'd hurt him because I, I couldn't quite I couldn't quite see very well. So, but I knew that I knew that he he was susceptible to a left hook. So I just thought I'll jab I'll hook him off the jab. So I jabbed and then I threw the hook and he landed and I saw him go down and I just I, I knew it wasn't enough. I knew he'd be up. I knew yeah he. he Covered very quickly, um, but I was just glad to have put him down, kind of thing. But yeah, I should have stuck the old boot in and cracked on with it. <laughs> and he didn't put you down. No, he didn't. No, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm happy with that. I was not going down, and and he did catch me with a, one big shot, I think, and my legs kind of went a bit, and then he steamed in. I think I just smothered his work, so he couldn't really finish me off. But and then maybe people say I was saved by the bell, but yeah, the bell did go, so that was a winner. But yeah, didn't put me down. Good man. Before we talk about what's next for you, after the fight, Florian was talking, he was shouting out Conor Ben again. How, how would you think that would go? I think Conor Ben would, would finish him. I think he'd destroy him. I think if he if Marku boxed the way he boxed against me, it would be it'd be a, a good fight, but I do believe Conor Ben would come out on top. And yourself? I'm assuming you're not boxing at welterweight again. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no, these guys are huge. Like, I, I even realised that when I was a sparring throughout the camp, I was sparring welterweights, and some of them are like six foot and stuff. And I'm think, I'm I'm not the biggest guy, and I, I know I can get down. I could probably make lightweight if I really gave it a go. But um, yeah, super super lightweight is where I'm going to be boxing now from now on for sure. Right, and that and that was the next question. What? Did, has Eddie been in touch, Ryland? Uh, we did. Yeah, he gave me a message after the fight, which was nice of him, saying um, good performance and we'll get you out again um, at 140 pounds, which is, yeah, um, like well to wait. And I obviously said, yeah, thank you. That's what I appreciate that. So, yeah, I hopefully in the summertime, Matchroom will get me out again on one of their shows at my own weight. And, yeah, it's time for me to really start taking over to the division of the um, super lightweights. And what would your ambition be for the next 12, 18 months at that, at that weight, Ryland? Getting a title for sure. I've got to get a title um, within, yeah, that time. Um, and at, the, at my own weight, I think I'm going to be so much more comfortable because um, my biggest asset is my power. So when you, I move up to the weight, my power is not as effective. As you saw against Marku, he kind of took a lot of my shots. Um, so, yeah, the, the super lightweights can't see him taking my power so yeah i'm looking forward to that good man one question i forgot to ask you after the fight with marco because there was a lot of verbals beforehand and a lot of insults went both ways was there any respect sean um yeah i think he had a bit of respect after the fight yeah i mean i i respect everyone i get in their fight but i've got zero respect for marco just the way he he was to the build up to the fight and Throughout the fight, there was no respect. It was a lot of talking, and I don't like that. Um, I mean, I, I, I've always had respect for everyone kind of thing, but he, I think he had a bit of respect for me after the fight because I did put him on his ass. So. Good lad. <laughs> uh, last word. You've, um, although you lost the last fight, you've relatively come from nowhere in the bigger picture, Ireland. And even in that defeat, I think you've won an awful lot of fans. So do you still see the future as rosy for yourself? Yeah, sure. I still see I've got a bright future. I feel like I don't think I lost any fans of that fight. I feel like I still uh, gained a few and still kept the fans that I have, um, which is nice. I've had lovely messages from everyone. Um, so, yeah, I can see a, a bright future of me boxing at my own weight, 100%. It's going to be good. Good, man. We look forward to seeing you back, Ryland. Main thing is you're fit and well. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Ryland, lovely to speak to you, mate. And we'll Cheers, catch up man. as soon as we get an announcement. Yeah, 100%. Nice one. Take care. Speak soon.